Microsoft Copilot and AI is coming to SharePoint. And that has some interesting implications for a lot of organizations today. Number one, it means that more people will be able to create beautiful and effective pages than ever before, which has significant implications. And number two, it means that more organizations can integrate and bring their intranet and these wonderful pages that they are building into the flow of users' work to share it more easily and to integrate it in new ways. So let's talk about number one. Copilot is coming to SharePoint. And what this enables is organizations to rapidly create pages from other artifacts. Let's say as an example, you have a sales handbook or a resource like a product sheet. In that example, you can create an internal SharePoint page based on that by simply talking to Copilot, referencing those objects, in this case, that um, PowerPoint presentation or that document, and it will generate the page for you, setting up web parts, sections, laying it out optimally so that you have a lot of that content there enriched on the page. This means that for many people, combined with the fact that there's a new SharePoint home experience and that page authoring is easier than ever before, more people will be able to create curated and effective intranet pages than ever before. This is a big deal because many organizations, the people who control the ability to create pages are those who have you know, certain educational uh, or skill sets like the understanding of how to lay out pages, how to understand web parts, how to understand SharePoint in deeper ways. Because this makes it more accessible, it's a great opportunity for a lot of organizations to not just think of collaboration spaces traditionally, like on documents and having you know containers for documents like what libraries represent today and channels, but to potentially create more dashboard style pages where they can put their content together and actually collaborate in real time, you know, co-author those pages together. Obviously co-authoring with AI using Copilot or co-authoring with one another. So this should lead to a greater number of pages. Combined with the fact that we have better branding tools where you can enforce and ensure brand integrity with custom fonts, uh, with uh, you know specialized font adjustments, with the style, look and feel, color changes, and a few other factors, this means that not only can we empower more people to create these pages, but we can also ensure that it still fits with our brand, right? Our logos, our colors, our fonts, and that's a big deal as well. Now, this isn't the only thing that's happening right now. Another mega trend that's happening is that for many organizations, the internet is becoming less of the place to go and more about bringing the internet and its services and content to me in the flow of my work. And there have been innovations here for a while, like Microsoft Viva Topics is a great example of a tool set that uses AI to dynamically create content pages and then to bring those content pages directly into the flow of your work like an instant message conversation or an email, allowing me to quickly see a preview of the topic and the information like, you know, highlighted content and resources, you know, a recommended people that know about that topic area or sites and pages and more. Now in this particular example, Viva Topics represents this future state, which is that many people in organizations today curate and manage these pages manually. The updating of these pages is quite um, uh, laborious and labor intensive, and so is the creation of these pages. Already we've seen with Viva Topics that we can offset some of those costs by making it easier to dynamically generate and maintain these pages by using AI tools. Here with Copilot, we can accelerate that further. And lastly, with richer integration with things like Outlook and Teams, not only can we improve that bringing the internet to users where they are, but we can also surface or push that information to people more easily. Now, this is something that's been happening for a while. If you haven't seen it, there is this, you know, you may have missed email that comes from SharePoint. And it's a smart email because it doesn't just show you news that you might have missed. It uses things like the boosting mechanic where you can boost news um, for signal data. And then that will show up in that um, news digest. It also does things like takes that news digest and makes sure that it's based on your behavior. So if I go to the engineering site um, and uh, I visited that site recently, in the next news digest that I get an email, the things that I may have missed, it will actually automatically have the news from that engineering site. So this is one example of Microsoft connecting our experiences and how we consume information like email with our way we work. 
This is taken further with even richer integration now. As an example, you can share a page and the entire page, its full experience, is brought into your modern email experience within Outlook. This means that for many people, that full fidelity, that page that you work so hard on the style and look and feel, actually can be rendered and experienced within email. Um, this further bridges the gap between email and our intranets. You can take this further with the experiments um, and experiences that you can do with Teams today. So if you don't know this, you can do all sorts of things in terms of rich integration with Teams, like take a tab within a channel and have a SharePoint page surface there for say a dashboard experience or something related. This is being taken further in a number of other improvements into Teams. One of them is this power of Viva Amplify, which is a premium option, which allows us to publish information to multiple channels, meaning that if I create a SharePoint News article, I can create variations of that using Copilot, you know, quite rapidly. I can create variations of that and then target that to um, you know, a particular set of people within Teams in a channel, or I could target that to an audience within an Outlook experience, meaning I can email people about that, or I can push that message to uh, an active community in Viva Engage, or what used to be called Yammer. This idea of multi-channel distribution or campaign collaboration is something that is happening for quite a long time, but now has better tooling built in by Microsoft using things like Viva Amplify. So this is, means that when we think of this landscape, it is changing because the internet is not the place people go to anymore. The internet comes to them in the context of their work. And we have more ways to push the internet to people and clever either individually um, or you know from a grouping perspective. Now this is even more interesting when you think of most internet pages and SharePoint pages overall. Um, it's, I think the stat is around one out of every three have integration with another system, you know, line of business or tool set. And this is a big deal because when we think of web pages, often we think of, oh, it's just a nicer experience. It's another way to access that information that could have been in a PDF or a Word document or something like that. But it's more than that. Web pages have interactivity that you can't get emulated in a Word document or as an example. So you can have different things, not just liking and commenting, but actual controls within a page. So as an example, instead of listing someone's name, you could have an org chart web part that shows where they fit within the relationship of other people. Instead of just listing a related document, we could potentially list a number of related documents and we can make that a dynamic control using highlighted content web parts. This is taken even further when you think of all of the customizations and enhancements and integrations that people build in SharePoint and have built over the years. You know, there are so many ways in which customers connect these dashboard-like pages to various systems and experiences. And every time they add one of those web parts or controls that enables that, that becomes available in all of the sites and pages they choose to. And that means that we can make these highly integrated SharePoint internet and dashboard pages not just easier to build and produce, not just easier to consume in our chosen medium, whether that's email, Teams, or um, Viva Engage or some other tool like that, but we can also do that where we can design better experiences and we can integrate it with those third-party tools together. And this means that the internet, which has always been sort of the collection of services and apps and content that we care about is very much coming to users where they are and we're able to scale the creation the maintenance the management and the connectivity or integration of that with ai in ways we could never do before so this is a very exciting time for those who are in the internet space i uh, encourage you to understand you know these new copilot announcements from microsoft sharepoint and more importantly understand what's changing with internet in terms of integration in terms of where people consume internet content and I hope some of what I've said today echoes what you've been thinking yourself. And uh, thank you so much for your time and attention.